Hello fellow geeks, my name is Bob and welcome to the every single time introduction for CityPeak.com presents video short takes. In this continuing series, we're looking at the media that we have consumed that we feel we can uh, adequately discuss within the course of a three minute time frame. So all these videos will be short and sweet and thank you for watching this introduction a million times if you're already a subscriber to us. If you're not a subscriber, welcome to the madness. And go ahead and Subscribe, hit that bell so you get a notification every time something comes up. Like, share, and head on over to cdveek.com to see everything else we're working on, whether it be longer form reviews, written, and video, our podcast, retrospective, everything we're working on paranormal wise, all sorts of stuff at cdveek.com. So head on over there and find us on Facebook as well for little bits of news that we put up they don't put on the website. Thank you for tuning in and hope you enjoy whatever video follows this introduction. Ask Dr. Ruth is a 2019 Hulu-produced documentary directed by Ryan White, probably best known for his Netflix true crime documentary, The Keepers. Dr. Ruth is much different than, than true crime. As the title suggests, we're looking at the life of Dr. Ruth Weisheimer, the world-famous sex therapist who became famous in the 80s and started appearing on first a radio call-in show and then later everything possible, every talk show, she even had her own sitcom, a board game, all sorts of stuff. As she goes through her life, as she approaches the age of 90, now she's 91 as it's been released, and she's still working just as hard as she ever did before. And it's really amazing watching her at 90, still getting up and going every day, flying all over the world to give her talks, still working on her books. Uh, I can't imagine at 90 having that much, still working that hard. It's funny enough, as you're watching this, my wife said, uh, yeah, between uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Dr. Ruth, we need to have more 80 to 90 year old women who were just kicking ass. So maybe something about the name Ruth. It's a, it's a well done documentary that's essentially a love letter to her, and, but also letting her tell her story. He had animated retellings from her journal uh, from back when she was sent away from her parents, away from Nazi-led Germany. Uh, she was sent to a boarding school in Switzerland, essentially an orphanage. Uh, where she lived uh, until the war ended, in which case she moved to Israel for a while before moving to the United States a couple years after that. It's not just exploring her as she was famous in the in the 80s, but everything came before that and what made her the person that she is. Uh, how she is. She's wonderful to listen to, to have the conversation that we see with her, the interviews we see with her. She's very frank, very funny, very straightforward, uh, and that makes her really likable, uh, which is why she did so well on TV in the 80s. But instead of just having this conversation with her, uh, we get to see multiple people talk about her and talk with her. It's really sweet to have her first boyfriend from the 30s, who's still alive and kicking in his late 80s, uh, talking with her and reconnecting. And it seems like they've known each other all their lives and kept in contact, but also but also people that have helped her along the way or she's helped along the way revisiting with her and as she moves through her life. So it's a very positive documentary. You're not gonna, this isn't like a warts and all thing. Uh, she's purposely leaving some stuff away. She says she keeps a lot of things private. There's certain things she doesn't like to talk about and they don't get into that. And that's not what we're here to do. It's like the RBG from last year. Uh, this is to present this person in a very positive light while we still have her, while we can still talk to her, while she's still moving out. And you know, to show us an incredibly positive role model to look up to of someone who's in the late 80s, early 90s and still still kicking it, man. I, that's so, that's this thing I keep taking away from there is like how much she's still working and with it. Uh, I guess that's the thing. Like if you let yourself drain away, you let yourself drain away, but if you never stop, you never stop. Uh, it's such a very loving documentary, it's a very well done documentary. I was completely entranced by her and her story, and I want to know more about that, and uh, she's just a lovely person to watch for, for the hundred minutes of this documentary. So try find it on Hulu, it's streaming there. I do recommend it uh, if, you have, if you have any interest in her at all. I'm actually going to give this a B plus. Thank you for watching, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. CityBeak.com